Okay, guys, let's give this a second coat. It's a lot better. It's never going to be perfect. They never are. But as I was putting it on, it set up before. So, okay, guys. impossible thing to put on smooth so my goal is to see silver on the bottom and silver on the top and any kind of little dingy ding things in there just throw them in and however smooth it is after this time we're calling it good so definitely nothing here nothing here just a normal feel there's always waves in these things that was just a little excessive for me straining it so I've been sanding this down to this here. You know this is less paint. Yeah. Hey, we're getting there. Okay guys, let's see what we did. We skimmed in some of the spots in here. We have to hit with that with something final of course. Got that real quick. Got down to here, we just have to go a little further on there. Same on this one. Started getting this quarter panel ready. I haven't given that a final look on what Junior did. It's half awake that thing. But whatever it is, it is. I'm sure we're good. Worked up to right, right there. Uh, rid of that point paint line that was there for now. Gotta be careful this lead there. And uh, we are definitely moving forward. So let's just keep going. So, but that's it for tonight. Gotta get that fender stripped. I wanna start uh, epoxying. So, Junior's pushing it and itching all at the same time. So, uh, I think this trim is going back on. Like I said, these pieces are mint. These have some pock marks in it, the last corner. And the other one I broke the stud on to make it even worse, but we could fix that. So I think we're gonna just put those back on. I wanna fill in these two mirror holes right here on both sides so I can put whatever mirrors I want on this car uh, kind of hard because the door's flat this way most mirrors sit on the car or on, or on an angle what was the problem? Well, I sand it down in here I want to get down into here definitely make sure that edge is feathered uh, open air garage asked if it was seam sealed in here yes it's seam sealed and yes it'll be re-seam sealed I'll go in there I'll give it a light scuff and I might just touch it up at least in that one area. Uh, all the other seam seals seems good. Uh, my wagon, if I'm not mistaken, I thought I just went in there with a screwdriver and do -do 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 and chiseled it all out. I thought I did. I could be wrong. I don't know. That was years ago. So I feel like I've been doing body work for five years. Oops, I have. Um, and died of it. So. The only thing that keeps me motivated on this car is I want to drive it. Because I know it's going to go pretty well. So, um, but other than that, I don't want to make it a super duper duper gabber. Hey, there you are. I don't want to make it a super gabbing video. Uh, coming a long way. And I just keep saying the same shit over and over and over again. So, but, um, 
Yeah, we gotta finish taking off that mold. <laughs> Still things I just haven't done. I would like to put button head, you know, nice low profile. Okay, not real tall, low profile stainless steel screw heads in here that just cover the holes with like a tiny gasket. Okay, like similar to a drain plug gasket, but pro pre preferably thinner, I'm either made of aluminum or copper. Um, but I want to test fit that all now and then put it in later. So I'm figuring a nice little plate with a hole drilled in the center. You slip it in, dink, tighten up the screw, line it up nice, snug it down, the seal seal it, just like it seals a brake line. And you will see the screws. Uh, we will get rid of those two holes right there. You will see the screws, but they'll be nice stainless steel. Maybe I'll dull them off if anybody's ever taken stainless steel and uh, scotch brighted it. Uh, it's like a brushed nickel finish. That's the best way I can look at it. Look, talk about it. Describe it. And I think that would be a perfect look for up there. So, um, you never know. Maybe one day you'll find a roof rack. Doubt it. But, <coughs> never know. <coughs> okay, guys. I'm out of here.